Hello friends, welcome to the Realm of Ryan and today I'll be unboxing this classic kit from Days of Thunder, the cult film with Tom Cruise, one of my favourite films as I'm a big NASCAR fan and I prefer this era of NASCAR because of the shape of the cars, the sponsors, the great drivers and uh, yeah in my eyes the good old days <laughs> so that's why i got this kit and very rare kit and i found this on ebay i think this is last year around 50 60 english pounds so quite uh, yeah quite a reasonable price for it uh, it's 124 scale as uh, the common standard for cars are so, as I said, this is based off the film. So, great box art on the front, on the side here, a nice view of the car built, a bit of a puff piece about, about the box of the car. So, share the excitement of Cold Trick as he goes from unknown rookie to champion stock car driver in Days of Thunder. So this 124 scale kit includes detailed chassis, engine and moulded ignition wires, roll cage and Goodyear Eagle racing tyres. It's 21.3 centimetres and is moulded in yellow with clear and plated parts. May be painted to match photos on box, cement and paint not included. Uh, you just turn it up. So yeah, it's got the copyright uh, and Paramount pictures, 1990. So this is a throwback and the classic pairing says here, got the logo, Don Simpson and Jerry Bruckheimer films, iconic duo, made a number of great films, this being one, and they did Top Gun as well, I believe. So that was that side of the box, uh, this side, yeah, just the same as, as this side, and here we get another Another picture of what the car looked like built, looking fabulous in that iconic city scheme with that, that lime and yellow, really lovely. And here some close-ups of what it'll look like in terms of roll cage before you put the top shell on. And then on the ground there, the usual. So really good. So we'll get into the box itself. So it's a top opening box. And here are the parts. So some of the some of the chrome parts here, as you can see. So I've seen in the film when I've seen them when I've seen the the rims. In some shots they're all black, and some they look like they're just left chrome. When I do build this, I'll be spraying these black. I think black just looks so much better on cars, uh, race cars especially. So lots of lots of chrome detail on there, as you can see. I think it says what frame this is. So that's that. I've got some extra decals. So the people I bought this off off of eBay said they've attached. They've got on the on the bag here. Tire decals, better in brackets. So these are good year. Oh yeah, you can see there. Good year tyre decals, so obviously these don't come with the kit, these are aftermarket that the people I bought it from chucked in as a as a freeman, so I won't say no to, I won't say no to that. So we've got instructions, we'll come to that later. So as you can see this uh, this bag is still sealed, which I'm uh, quite surprised about. It looks original. We'll get to that after. Here are the rubbers. I know what you're thinking, rubbers in terms of tyres. <laughs> so look okay. Uh, a bit of flash here, as you can see. So that to be sounded off and then quite annoyingly on the on the tire itself that we can see that, but there's like a rage ridge here that will have to get sanded down to make smooth. So a bit of faffing around needed on on the rubbers, but yeah, okay overall. And it has got it has got Goodyear Eagle at 
actually, let me can get the camera fix that up. It's actually on the tyres themselves and they're raised, so I could use decals, or if I'm feeling sporty, I could actually paint those on myself. Just paint, just paint on the on the raised, the raised areas there, and then the transparencies. So it's the front and rear screens, and then we've got the sides here. As you can see, it's a bit of a bit of a stain on that side. Actually, it's quite annoying. But that can that can just peel off. I hope. There's a black stain. That's annoying. I didn't notice that before. Maybe I can try and clear that off. I'm not sure I can get that off, but I'll try and uh, I'll try and get that off. So the bags here. Yeah, I'm surprised that's still sealed. Actually, it looks like it's original. Original sealed. Let's get this cardboard box out of the way. Yeah, box looks a bit a bit worn, but to be expected with the age. Yeah, this bag is flimsy as. Let me get this out of here. Bit of another faff. So there's the the main shell, top shell of it. It's a decent size. As you can see, I'll trim out some of the middle here. It looks okay. Is that there a bit of a mark on there? Yeah, a bit of a blemish on the back there. I might need to sand or buff out perhaps. But yeah, overall it looks it looks nice. No major issues apart from that. No seam lines that I can see of. I'll have a bit of a scuff there. But I suppose I can get away with that as a bit of da battle damage from, from racing perhaps uh, when I do build it. That's the main shell. Uh, this frame is the chassis. Chassis in there. So this is all in yellow. Everything appears to be here in the kit. Nothing looks to be missing. Obviously this being a sealed bag is a, is a uh, improving my confidence. In a sealed bag. These are the sides here. Uh, obviously, in real life, this is removed from the climbing and out the driver, or Tom Cruise or Cole Trickle in the film. That sticks on the side. Uh, then we've got the bumpers, <coughs> the front Chevy Lumina bumper and the rear bumper. And these frames, uh, no, I don't think the frames. Frames uh, are lettered. Next sprue, we've got instruments, obviously steering wheel, some of the engine transmission parts to build. So a lot, a lot of detail in there, considering the age of the kit. Looking good. And the final sprue. Broken up a bit. Got the seat there. Put the detail on there. That's all right. And then we've got uh, like the, you know, the bonnet and some other stuff. I can't tell what's on there. So as you can see there. So there are all the parts. I can fix that up after. decals again a few black marks here it looks like the same black marks that was on the window unfortunately but as you can see decals look look pretty good overall I can't see any major yellowing in there but yeah that black mark on there that's, that's frustrating but again I might better get away with that as, as battle damage but as you can see get close to that on the camera picks that up City. It's all the key decals uh, that you need. That iconic livery. Put it on there. 
instructions, black and white, uh, it's supposed to be expected from the time. We paint call outs here, uh, it's a numbered, numbered assembly, so one starting with the, the engine and the gearbox, and instructions open out uh, like this in different stages. Too much detail into here, but you get the gist. Looks quite straightforward enough. I do prefer coloured instructions, but hey ho, beggars can't be choosers, especially when you're dealing with a kit of this age. And it's double sided, so it's quite a lot to do. As you can see here, quite a lot to do in terms of the steps. That's it, and then you've got your painting chart there again in black and white, but that's to be expected for monogram. Uh, same with Ravel, all their instructions in black and white. Well, not all the new ones, they've actually switched to color now, but in previous retro kits, they've been black and white. I think Ravel owned monogram or bought monogram, or vice versa. Probably, probably Ravel bought monogram. As you can see, you've got the paint guy there, and where the where the decals go, and that's it. So, yeah, a nice find at eBay. So, if you are interested in one of these, keep checking eBay. I think when I checked a couple of months ago, I found a couple of these on there. So, you can still get these. They are about. You just got to be lucky. But yeah, look at the decals. The decals do look good. Just, uh, yeah, I'm just concerned about that black mark on there. I might try and buff that out, I don't know. I'll have a look, but uh, overall they're in a good condition, the decals. So looking forward to doing this. Obviously from the paint scheme, that's where there's the, where's the version there, that's best to demonstrate it. So from the paint scheme, iconic, gorgeous paint scheme from the film. I have got an airbrush. I've not ever used an airbrush before, so I will be using an airbrush for this to get these, uh, get that effect there that you get on the paint. If you can see it there, that'd be a really good effect to get, which you can only get from an airbrush, really. So I will be airbrushing this, but I will get a bit of experience under my belt with some cheap, cheap, uh, common kits before I tackle this. But I just wanted to do this unboxing just to show you what you can get out there in the eBay world and yeah, how good it looks from, from the 90s. Really good. So thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel because I do want to try and boost up the figures on this channel, excuse the dog, I've got a German Shepherd and she likes keeping watch while I'm up in, in the room up here. If you can see from my, from the background, you can see my stash is quite big. I'm not going to pad around to it just yet, but it is quite big and going up the wall. So I do want to start making some time and, sorry for the barking, it's really frustrating. But she's doing her job, keeping guard. So yes, I do want to make some more time to do some kits and get or burn down that stuff you can see in the background there. Got quite a host of kits, rare ones, more rare ones like this, unusual ones, and the common ones as well. But uh, it's it is growing and it's not going down. I've only I've only built one kit so far, which was the Airfix Airfix Jet Forest, the one that was at. Audi in the UK in the sale, <laughs> so I built that one. <coughs> excuse me, in in that uh, in the standard red. Just did that brush painted out the box build. Looked it looks pretty good actually, and that I've done about two years ago. And I've not done anything since, so I need to really pull my finger out. I have got the the yellow jacks nat. That's work in progress at the moment, and I've it's just down there actually out the way. I've assembled that and. I just need to prime it and then 
spray it yellow. Not with the not with the airbrush. I've got a rattle can, humble rattle can to spray that. So that's my next uh, build in progress. So I will do a video of that when that's complete. Not a build video, but just a final result video and talk about it, pros and cons, issues I encountered, and obviously show the finished product. And then I'll, I'll, like I say, I'll keep burning them down. So thanks for watching. I'll, I'll try and get some more videos up more regular now and try and grow the channel and get more videos, more content for you guys. And yeah, just try and grow it. So feel free to subscribe, like, all that good stuff, because it all helps. I've got uh, buy me a coffee, so feel free to buy me a coffee. Uh, the link is in my page bio, so feel free to do that and support it. And I'll keep making a conscious effort to get more videos on here and start growing it. So thanks everyone, and we'll speak soon.